Good afternoon and welcome to yet another gorgeous soccer day here at Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School in Heart of Vermont. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats, senior night, last home game of the season, taking on the Danville Indians today. Danville comes in with a record of 7-4. and four. Lady Cats, a record of 2-10. and ten. Four seniors on the team going to be recognized today. They are Kai Gilbert, Zoe Hislop, Joey Hall, and Patel. Do I have that right? It's Patel, right? Patel is our other senior, uh, an exchange student that came to Hazen this year. So uh, they'll be having a short ceremony at halftime, which at uh, that point, Griff, I will be busting it down off this roof to make it down onto the field. Yep. Kind of bittersweet, a little emotion up here. I remember, uh, you know, looking down right here on the near side uh, four years ago. Joey's a freshman, got called up to varsity. and uh, First... Uh, Call of hers that I made. She had a throw in right down here. And it's where's the time gone? You yeah, know? that's right. It, it goes by so fast. So we wish our Lady Cats luck. We want to wish our seniors well. Have a good game for them. Tip off moments away. Our sponsors today: Willie Store, five three three two six two one. Open every day, seven a.m. to six p.m. Hardwick Village Restaurant, open six a.m. to eight p.m. Seven days. In-house made desserts. So we're having a short pause here for some reason. We're waiting on the clock. Maybe there's the official going back on. Not sure. There we go. Opening tip. Danville with control. You know what, Griff? I thought I could see the names okay without my glasses. I'm going to throw them on today. <laughs> yep. Okay. Just to get there's a lot of lot of names on these these things. So there's Kai in the middle. Kai Gilbert. Yes, I just heard. It is Patel right there underneath us, number 16, one of our seniors. Kai Gilbert, of course, another one. Zoe Hislop and Joey Hall. There's Joey with the throw in, almost in the same spot from where I first called it a number of years ago. Macy Moeller on the cross. Carly Bellevue comes out. She is the keeper, junior keeper for the Danville Indians. Talk to Coach Spencer Morris for just a moment before the game to get records and lineups and numbers and all that stuff. We know all the names and numbers match up. He double-checked them. Macy gets a shot on. Save. Bellevue. Macy the mail goal. Almost delivered a goal here early. Bellevue. High punt. Good punt. Down the middle. Played up. It's that lefty Jeffrey right there. Playing it up through. Maddie Bartlett, the Spitfire here on the near side. Trying to make her way through that Indians defense. Throw in, Hazen. Drop down by Macy Cross, looking for Maddie there in the middle. Cleared out by the Indians defense. We're gonna have another throw. Until they get turned around, it's really hard to see the numbers on the Indians' jerseys. I can't really see the front ones from up here, from my vantage point, at least. So we'll try and match up names and numbers as best we can once I... <laughs> Chipped out. Last year's girls coach, Corey Maskell, over on the sideline as well. Actually coached several years. Uh, Harry Bissett, first year coach, chatted with him before the game. Wished him luck, of course. Corner kick in. Save, Bellevue. Ali Gabary. Played back. Danville. Joey trying to get back there. We've got a player over here open. Joey trying to stick with it. Save the little red machine. Nice to have the little red machines 
brother, the Big Red Machine, Elliot Kimball, up here for a few minutes the other day. Yeah, it was great to see him again. Yeah. Thanks for coming up, Elliot. Great conversation. This. Enjoying a little time. I see him down on the sideline again today. Oh, nice. Save. Headed back up by Lily Clark. I think, is that a two on the back of her jersey? Uh, yep. Okay, okay, that is Lily Clark. And then over there, uh, Lila Hall. No relation. Lila Hall working against Joey Hall, at least as far as I know. Is that Patel? Coming up the near side on the run. Jasmine Dunbar out of bounds. Blue throw. Moeller, nice trap. Looking to turn. Blocked down by the defense. Chipped up ahead. Maddie Bartlett trying to get there. Couldn't get it. There's Joey. Out of bounds. Off the side of her foot. Patel. Played up through Moeller. Crossover. Looks over Christensen. Nice give and go. Zoe Hislop in the middle. Here's Kai. Nice play. Macy's on side. If she can get that foot on it. Got a chance at a shot here. Kai in as well. Played back. Hislop off the side of her head. That's going to hurt. Jeffrey, that'll draw a whistle. Free kick. Lefty Jeffrey got the foot out there. Number six, Lila Hall over here on the near side along with uh, Lily Clark. Nobody on him, really. Ball skips out of bounds. Little red machine gives chase. A little bit of a breeze up here, chill in the air. Nice soccer weather. Fall soccer weather, yes indeed. Patel has that one go under. Get over here on the near side. Lila Hall going against Joey. Joey Hall getting it back up through. Here's Macy. Sends it. Kai has that one skip off her face. That'll leave a mark. Kai's tough. Zoe Hislop up. <laughs> Blocked down by the defense. The Enville defense. Here we go, Macy, can she make it first? Bellevue, nice play. Nice play by Carly Bellevue to get that out. Macy right there on her. One little miss kick, and that could have been trouble. Macy, the male girl, she knows how to deliver it into the goal, that's for sure. Throw in White. Seven minutes gone here in the first half. No score. Both teams have threatened. No real quality shots, as we like to say, Griff. But there have been some threatenings. Yeah, Macy and, had a pretty both, good shot earlier. Both uh, goal mouths. Yep. Lily Clark drops back. Liza Morris back up through. Played up Jasmine Dunbar. Far ahead. Patel looking to clear out. Right down here in front of us, Macy. I think she was looking for Patel to keep going. Here's Macy, nice cross. Ball skips under. Christensen over there. Kai right there as well. Nice pass. Gabri to Maddie Bartlett. Now that was a true Lord of the Dance right there. 
No denying that, Griff. Yeah, I think Macy's Michael Flatley routine is doing really well. Ball up, played underneath Gabri. Looks to settle. Joey Hall back up through, gets it over Christensen. Looking at Bartlett. Bartlett gets it over to Kai. Can't get it quite through that defense, though. Comes Hislop. Macy is just a bust and a move out there today, Griff. Yeah. That's two of them within a minute. Doing a really good job of making opponents miss. Ball chipped over. This sometimes has spelled trouble for the defense. When they pull up, Lily, castle's made of sand. Danville still in control. Throw in blue. Lily Castle on the throw. Maddie Bartlett, I believe, got a foot on that one. Indians looking across. Lefty Jeffrey right there. Ooh, here we go. The Hall girls, Lila and Joey. Again, no relation. I think Lila Hall would have liked that one back if she could have got a little more on it. A little red machine down, though, with the scoop save. Short punt, drops in. Joey clears that one up through. Jasmine Dunbar back there. Kai, give and go to Macy. Can Macy get by? Alex Remick back there on defense as well. Gabri, settle, cross, middle. There's Kai. She was looking for Christensen, I believe, on that one. Here's Joey. Lila Hall goes by. It's going to be tough. Jeffrey in there with it. Gets the left foot on it. Goes. Yes, good. Lila Hall trying to make a play. Left to Jeffrey. Got back there. Back, Nice backup on D. Danville corner kick. Danville girls break. I didn't think that ball was ever oh, going to get across Just there. Just suspended in air forever, yeah. Finally taken on the hop by the little red machine. Danville with their best scoring opportunity yet. Just couldn't get a put on the ball in there so it just kind of hung around the mouth of the goal forever. Wow, that was some serious paint being traded over there. Nice move to get by, shot on, side of the net. <laughs> Hazen goal kick. Joey gets it out on the side. Christensen, Lily Castle up. Looking for Maddie. Maddie Bartlett plays it ahead. Knocked down by the defense. Right back there to grab it, though. Bartlett. That's why I call her the Spitfire. She never gives up. Tiniest girl on the field. Plays like the biggest. <laughs> Kai Gilbert. Look at the turn, go over. 
There's Kai over in the corner. Woo! Robin's racing. Throw in back. Bartlett. Oh, mishandled. Bellevue. A little slippery stuff on the gloves. Kai lurking right there. And we know, Griff, these defenses fear Kai. That's, yeah, <laughs> I certainly do. If they watch the replay of the uh, <laughs> of the homecoming goal, yeah. then they're probably afraid. Gabby Stanchu. White throw. Lila Hall, Joey right there to block that one down. Macy in the middle, looking for Maddie. Couldn't quite get it there. Nice play up, Zoe Hislop. Chips it over, another chip. Those are chips, Griff. I believe a, a hold called there, I heard the referee. Allie, she'll put it on net from here. Down. Didn't quite get the foot on it, I think she wanted. Chase down in the corner, out. Throw in, white. Stanchu, looking to throw in. Moeller right there, almost a dangerous. Do we have a hand? Free kick, Moeller, cross. Ball drops down, trapped down by Christensen. Ooh, Hazen with a nice scoring opportunity right there that was didn't come to fruitation. Zoe Hislop. Lila Hall gets by Gabby. Joey gets it out. Turn around. Balls trapped down by the Little Red Machine. Three of the four seniors today, Griff, former Lakers. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Lakeview Lakers. Uh, Joey and Zoe have been friends since kindergarten, played sports together since second grade. Kai, I think, came around either fourth or fifth grade, I think. The thing I most remember about Kai is when she first came to, uh, to uh, Lakeview, her hair was orange. <laughs> but... Uh, both uh, Zoe and Kai have spent a lot of time at our house with Joey. Nice, nice group of girls. Nice trio right there. Maddie Bartlett. Trying to move up through. Nice play. I think that's Bethany Conway that just headed that one. Yes, it was. Allie, knocked down. Macy, taken out. Jasmine Dunbar. She's played some. Dunbar's played some really good defense so far in this half. Number three for uh, Danville. Stopped uh, several attempts in there. Autumn LaRock on defense. Or is that 13? I can't tell. 13? Um, yeah. 13. Liza Morris, excuse me. Liza Morris right there playing some tough D for the Indians. Hazen looking to penetrate here. Kai goes down. Look how quick she comes back up, though. Macy, looking for Madison, taken out once again by the defense. Macy Moeller, shot on, deflected, nobody there. A glorious opportunity, and a nice save, nice save by Carly Bellevue. But a glorious opportunity if we can have somebody on the other side of the net.
glorious opportunity. Gabri, throw in. Looking for Moeller. Moeller looking for Stanchu. Is she going to get there? No. We will have a Danville goal kick. Goal kick. Looking out here for Layla Hall. Joey trying to cut in front of her. Drop back. Joey on the throw, looking at Stanchu, trying to get to Moeller. Played out, Lily Clark. Stanchu, shoulder to shoulder with Clark. Moeller drop. Middle, Zoe wanted to go back to Moeller. Here's Moeller. Zoe, there's Moeller in, shot, goal! And your Hazen Union Lady Cats go on the board one zip with 20-41 left to go here in the first half on a beautiful give and go between Zoe Hislop and Macy Moeller. Macy, the male girl, delivers it into the back of the net. Nothing much Bellevue could have done with that one. It's pretty impressive. I feel like we had the ball in this half of the field for the last 10 minutes yeah. here, and we converted it into a great goal. Nice to see that. Macy, the male girl. Once again, that goal comes 20-41 left to go here in the first half. Our sponsors, once again, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, in-house made desserts. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. And Scott went across the middle of the goal there. And uh, who was it got the foot on it? Was it Joey or was it Natalie? I believe that was Joey. Joey got the foot on it to clear it out. The um, I wanted to call her the mini shopper, but that's Ethan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the mini red, the uh, little red machine down there. Yeah, as that's, well online. That's not an easy play to make. I mean, yeah. she's got a face full of goal, and she obviously can't kick it into. So she had to get on that ball and then turn kick it and to the side. Yeah, exactly. Tough angle to make. Here's the corner, the most exciting play in all of soccer. Gabri knocks that one out. We'll have another corner kick. Griff on camera. I saw the lovely Liz today while I was working. Oh, yeah? yeah she, she went down to the, uh, the store went there? Went down the store. She came in. She got a sandwich. Said you were hoping to get out. I said, I hope he gets out here, too. <laughs> Ball played in. Danville threatening once again. Bethany Conway out. Kicked it, caught but again. That's Autumn LaRock, number 11, keeping it in now. Coming back out. Here's Christensen looking up ahead. Drops it to Zoe. Far side. Kai. The nice thing about having Corey back on the sideline over there is you can hear all of his coaching. Oh, yeah. You got double the amount of coaching now. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. As if one coach screaming down your throat isn't tough enough. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go in the corner. Kai fighting along. I think Corey, even if he were to whisper, we'd still hear him up here. <laughs> great. This is great. Yeah, and, I, and I'm saying that with all respect. Macy back in the middle. They down. Danville defense played that one in. Stanchu off the top of the goal. We had a whistle before that. I Did I hear a whistle before that? Yeah, it looks like uh, during the collision with the goalie, they called the play dead. 
I mean, but it was actually a member of the Danville defense that sort of put that one back towards their own goal to give Hazen that opportunity. I yeah. thought we were going to get another one. I thought uh, Gabby Stanchu was going to get a goal there. But play dropped dead. B uh, blown dead is what I'm trying to say. And unlike the NFL officials, I can honestly say our official officiating for soccer this year, I think it's been outstanding. Yep. The NFL, they've got some troubles. You've got one guy signaling touchdown and another guy signaling no touchdown. Almost a slide tackle by Lily Clark there. Gabbery up ahead, trapped down by Jasmine Dunbar. Cleared out by Alex Remick. Here's Macy keeping it in. Out, we'll have a blue throw. Girls will wrap up their season on the road under the lights this Friday against Winooski. Boys are scheduled to have a game, I believe, against Enosburg Thursday, but weather looking extremely threatening for that day. We'll see what happens. And uh, then they will finish up their season Saturday night under the lights against Winooski. Bellevue on the goal kick, 15-37. Left to go here in the first half. Hazen up 1-0, courtesy of a Macy Moeller goal. Maddie Bartlett looking to make a play. Here's Gabbery. Wanted to chip that back over to Zoe. Nice play, lefty Jeffrey. Hall was on her way. Knocked down, Gabri Jeffrey up ahead. Over here to the near corner. Macy giving chase. Along with Dunbar, Macy wins that battle. Rare misplay by Dunbar, cross and over. Alexis Christensen getting a break in trots. Maverick Murphy on the near side. We've entered the danger zone. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> oh, that was great. I love it. <laughs> she takes my breath away. <laughs> Macy, corner. Nice ball right there in the middle. So anybody can get a foot on it. Zoe, uh, Maddie and Kai right there. Hislop gets the foot on. Wide. Just wide. Varsity boys. So giving us the big shout out up hey. here. Good job to them. Yeah. They're having a great season. They are having a fabulous season. Looking very much like we will definitely host a home playoff game here for the boys. The Gentleman Cats. As the we Gentleman Cats. Them. <laughs> Comes Danville. Block down, Joey. Lila Hall with her. Natalie comes over. We're going to have a handball on Lila Hall. Trying to split the double team of Joey Hall and Natalie Jeffrey. 13 minutes and counting. Ticking left here in the first half. <laughs> Lila Hall looking to turn up. Nice cross pass over. Nice move by Marshy. That's Avery Marshy. 
Well, Lefty Jeffrey there. Hall goes down. We'll call that incidental contact. No whistle. Joey Hall on the goal kick, trapped down by Danville. Lila Hall moving out. Joey gets it up through. Macy Moeller brings it down. Looks over. Kai's got the stop. Can she get in there to make the play? She's going to have to shoot left footed. Gets a shot on wide. Hazen offense is... And Fuego today. Yeah, firing on all cylinders here. On fire. Making some great passes, some great plays. Cassidy Cochran coming in, and uh, Macy's going to get a little bit of a breather here. Goal kick, Danville. Ball drops down. Played up. Lefty Jeffrey. Danville with the free kick, 11 minutes left here in the first half. Ball skitters through, easy save for our freshman goalie, the Little Red Machine, Emily Kimball. Punts, drop down. Ball up through, Kai trying to make the play. Joey Hall up through the middle. Right here on the near side. Maverick over Maddie Bartlett. Nice pass over Kai. Boy, whoever that number 17 is from Ashland Hill, she seems to uh, seems to know the angles to play. It's just when you think Kai's going to get a break, going to get a shot. Hill's right there to close it down. Lord of the Dance. Big time collision in the middle of the field between Lefty Jeffrey and uh, Ava Marshy. Gonna give Hazen the free kick. Danville looking to mount any form of an attack, which I must say our defense has played stellar yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely. Turn around. Ow. Kimball down. I heard a whistle. I guess it was over in the other game. There's uh, a JV game going on. JV boys are over there. Yeah, I, I heard a whistle. I thought there was something had happened. I was kind of looking around, not really noticing. Maverick plays through. There's a whistle on ours. Going to have a Danville free kick. Shot on wide. Taken by Autumn LaRock. 8.05 left to go here in the first half. And your Hazen Union Lady Cats leading one zip over the visiting Danville Indians. Joey Hall, goal kick. Looking over here. Maverick. Lily Clark gets by Maverick.
Maverick trying to come up again. Players down. Joey Hall, Maverick playing against Clark. Maverick gets up through. Now we're going to have a free kick. I'm trying to think of other songs from Top Gun that we could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Danger Zone and Take My Breath Away were the two big ones. There was the whole you've lost that love and feeling scene with Tom Cruise where he sings to Kelly McGillis in the bar. Uh, I've got one, but I've got to drop it at the right moment. Oh, you, it's, timing is everything. Exactly. Joey Hall up. Maverick. Ow, looking to turn. Can't get through. Gabry there. Lila, Lila Hall, Joey Hall clears out. Middle of the field. There's Hislop. Lines up, goes through. Kai trying to catch up. Bellevue is going to clear that one out with her foot. Drop it back. Joey Hall back up through again. Maverick. Going to have a blue free kick. Nice play up through. Kai. Defense there over on the far side. Zoe Hislop just wide. Danville, go kick. Taken down by Moeller. Macy back in. Lila Hall moving up through. Gets it here on the near side to Lily Clark. Mavericks had trouble shaking this bogey. Clark all over her. And they're going to give Danville the free kick when I saw Lila Clark using a whole lot of body, a whole lot of hands on our Maverick. I think Maverick's going to need support from her wingman on that one. <laughs> she's gonna, That's right. Lila Clark's, Clark's going to play her like that. I mean, she's she's taller than her, and she's using her height to her advantage. I, you know, it was almost like a box out in basketball rebound, you know, the way she was boxing her out there. Yeah, and the rules for that are pretty different in soccer than they are in basketball. Great play if you can get away with it, Yeah, which she did, so, hey. Danville. Looking across, Gabri's going to get to that one. High up the field, taken down. Macy trying to get the ball back, win that ball, win that battle. Ava Marshy trying to get by. Jeffrey goes down, she's back up. Macy working against Avery Willers on the far side. Here's Cochran. Going to try and turn, get it back out. Nice move. Wow. And goal. What an amazing effort by Cassidy Cochran. Did you see the move she made, Greg? That was a pretty nice move. Phenomenal right there. Yeah. And, I mean, let me point out, she's a freshman. She's a freshman, and that was a great veteran move to get that ball by. That was Cassidy. I do have this right. It was Cassidy, right? Yeah. Number five. Yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure. I've blown him before. So, But, uh, wow, what a move over there. Beautiful. He sneak, get in it, get the shot on it. She kept it low and outside. Three twelve left to go in the first half. Goals by Macy Moeller, and just a great effort. Single-handedly, almost. Cassidy Cochran up in there. 
juke past the defense. Mm -hmm. And uh, got in there to get the shot. Fabulous. Danville player goes down. No whistle. Referee right there. Hazen goal kick. 2.45 left to go in the first half. I usually read this at the end of the first half, but I'm going to give our sponsors one more shout-out because I'm going to have to bust down onto the field here in a few moments. Willie's Store sponsoring us today. 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days, in-house made desserts. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. He's in Lady Cats action against the Danville Indians, currently leading by a score of 2-zip. Kimball, let's make that 2-1 on a high shot that got over the reach of Kimball. Taken from about, I don't know, we say 30 yards out? Yeah, that's just I mean, pretty unguardable. That's yeah. a great shot. How much you can do with that? Did you get me a number on that goal? I saw a running back. I thought I saw. Let's peek in here. I thought I saw 21, but I'm not sure. Let's see. But uh, quite a shot. Running back right here in the middle, correct? Yeah, with the, with the dark hair here. We've right. got a 24. 24. I don't have a number 24 on my on my roster for Danville. 24? I don't have a 24. Okay, well, we'll call it number 24. Yep. Nice shot. Beautiful shot. You know, almost on, you know, like you said, can't really do much unless you're really, you got a real tall goalie. Right. You know, if Allie was in there, she could have maybe knocked it up over. But uh, that was just a, a great placement from about 30 yards out to uh, make it 2-1. Macy the male girl moving up here. Once again, Lady Catch, senior night here. Last home game. Seniors playing. Here's Cochran again, trying to get it over to Bartlett's. Gabbery. That's a, that's a half a chip, a half a chunk. Our seniors tonight uh, gonna be honored, gonna be uh, Zoe Hislop, Joey Hall, Kai Gilbert, and Batau. Once again, Zoe, Joey, and Kai, all former Lakeview Lakers. Batau, an exchange student, came to Hazen this year. Played very well throughout the uh, season. Joey and Zoe have been back on defense just about their entire careers. A couple of blocks of granite back there on defense. And uh, Kai has played a lot of midfield. We've seen her score some, you know, a couple of goals this year, including one very memorable one on her homecoming. Time ticking down. There's another long shot out. It's going to go wide. We're going to have a Hazen goal kick with about 30 seconds. And as soon as this clock takes down, Griff, I'm headed down onto the field. All right. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. And to Joey, obviously. Say, sort of bittersweet. The, the four years went by fast. Now what the heck, they've all gone by fast, you know? Moeller gets it over. Gabri, 15 seconds left. Over here on the near side. Joey with the throw. And that will end the first half with your Hazen Union Lady Cats up by a score of 2-1, to one, courtesy of two goals by uh, Macy Moeller and Cassidy Cochran. Danville number 24 scored for them. I will be back at the start of the second half. We have manager, Lily okay, <laughs> Number 16, Jasmine Esposito. Number 17, Ashlyn Hill. Would you like to get the seniors of the Hazen Wildcats to come down to the center of the soccer field? Excuse me, not the parents, please. The seniors. Come down to the center of the soccer field. Number 18, Ashlyn Hill. I did too. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you know. okay, next time I'll go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. 
One minute away from second half action here at Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School, beautiful Hardwick, Vermont, on a spectacular fall afternoon for soccer. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats in action against the Danville Indians, currently leading 2-1, courtesy of goals by Macy Moeller and a fantastic effort by Cassidy Cochran. Uh, Danville did get a goal from number 24. I don't have a name on my program for them, so we'll just credit number 24 with their goal on a long 30-yard shot that just got over the head of the Little Red Machine to make the score 2-1. Senior night for the Lady Cats, honoring our four seniors, uh, Zoe, Hall, Zoe Hislop, Joey Hall, Kai Gilbert, and Batau. Came out, had a nice ceremony at uh, midfield, and, uh, you know, it was kind of, it was, it was really nice, Griff. Yep, pretty short and got simple, down, but very yeah. nice. Got to go down with Joey, and, you know, you, you think back, and, you know, you see him coming out, and, I mean, uh, I never thought I would get married and have kids, you know. <laughs> Much less, uh -huh. you know, uh, be blessed with, with with kids like I have, and uh, you know, and their friends as well. You know, um, Zoe and Kai and Joey have been all been pretty tight since their Lakeview days, and uh, spent a lot of time with with the three of them, and it's just pretty pretty amazing feeling to to be out there and, and you know know it's their final home game and. But uh, 
as we all know, as one thing comes to an end, there's always something to come along and replace it, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Life has that way of just sort of moving on and new adventures. Wildcats looking to attack. That one almost kind of went off the face at number 13 out there. Our sponsors, once again, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days, in-house made desserts. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. And uh, I'm sure you heard, too, on my way back across the field there, the Varsity Boys have now heard the, the game where I declared that if MacDonald Lamphere scores a goal, I will do a Lord of the Dance up here on top of the Industrial Arts Building. They're more excited than I am, Lance. <laughs> this is, now we got to, now the whole town is rooting for it. Exactly. Lady Cats looking to earn another victory here. Could push their record to 3-10 and ten with one game left. They will travel for the playoffs, just where we're not going to know until Monday. Gentlemen Cats should be hosting a game. Going shoulder to shoulder over there. Kai Gilbert. Kai wanted to wear her emotions on her sleeve. She was in tears coming across the field. It's so. been tough for her. She's had uh, yes. some injury problems throughout her throughout her four years here. Yeah, here. definitely. Uh, did one year up at uh, Craftsbury. Got really injured in a game uh, down south. I want to say it was Bethel, that area. Uh, collided. I, I can't remember if it was with a defensive player or with the, the goalie. Um, Seriously injured, uh, seriously concuss serious concussion, had a lot of inner ear problems after that. I remember going up to see her, you know, soon after that. She was basically, you know, bedridden, dark room, concussion protocol type of thing. But uh, she's recovered nicely. Yeah, Kaya's nothing if not tough. Yeah. Maddie Bartlett moving through. Chipped out by the defense. And what's been really nice to see is our offense just controlling the field. You know, Danville got that one goal off that long shot. But other than that, the, the, the defense has played stellar against the Indians. And the offense is really controlled. There's a serious shove on Macy Moeller, but no whistle. Zoe up through Macy. Dropped it back. Lily, castle's made of sand. Jeffrey, back up, and the varsity boys come alive. And I tell you, I think that really adds to the game and to the girls' intensity, you know, when you got the boys out there rooting them on. Nice to see. Moeller trapped down. Christensen. Dunbar put her hands up purely reflex. Gone across, taken out. Autumn LaRock will have a Hazen corner kick. Ball right across. <laughs> Lily Castle going across, looking for Stanchu. Gabby Stanchu is over. Joey Hall back up, goes off the her and Lila Hall. Once again, no relation. Been toe to toe a lot of this game. Here's Kai, gets across, Moeller, down, chip up through, Kai over on the near side if she can get there. A lot of speed on that defense though. Number 24 back there. 
Knocks it out. Hazen, corner kick. 35 minutes left in the game. Your Lady Cats up by a score of 2-1. Have I forgotten anything, Griff? Right, I read the sponsors. I said who we were. I've talked about the senior night. We've given the score. Uh, I've credited the goal scorers. Just want to make sure I'm back in my right mind here. Yeah, I think I think, uh, I think you hit all the bases there. All right. <laughs> you don't have any uh, obligations to dance to anybody yet. So yet, no? yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Christensen back, Hislop, shot on, save, Bellevue. High, short punt, ball went a mile straight up. Castle plays it up, ball drops down, play it over. I'll tell you what, you... You, uh, you're playing footsie with fate back there, uh, bouncing the ball around with Kai right in that area. <laughs> yep. Well, he castle up. Turn. Clark working against Christensen. Clark goes down. Christensen sticks with her, trying to get by. And there is the Spitfire. Maddie Bartlett. Nice play down, Christensen. Out of bounds, white throw. Zoe on the far side, up through, cleared out. Back down, Zoe with the header over here to Clark. Out of bounds, blue throw, Lily Castle. Moeller knocks that one down, cross. Stanchu, here's the Spitfire looking at Kai. Kai in the middle. Defense right there. Great defense by Danville, though. They're bending, but not breaking yet. And Zoe Hazen continues to mount the offensive. Back, lefty Jeffrey up. It's like every time I think the ball's going to get by her, then I remember she's left footed. <laughs> you know? That's right. Thinking, okay, it's by. Nope, she's left footed. She's got it. All right, Danville looking to get across. Lila Hall. Lila Hall and Joey Hall. Jeffrey. Hair flies. Ball's not rolled out. Stanchu back. Nice play. Gabby Stanchu on her horse back there to knock that one out. Danville player had an opportunity to cross. Gabby, nice hustle. Back out. Natalie will set it up and redo it again. 31-25 left to go in the game. Ball back. It's another high one. Sides. Just a bit outside. We'll have a Hazen goal kick. Danville looking to set something up here. Maddie Bartlett out. Picked up. Blue throw. Gabri gets to that one. Moeller knocks it down, defense back. 
Blue throw. Christensen looking at Moeller. Well played in the middle. Handball. Right in front of the varsity boys. Man, were they all over that one. And while he's not playing soccer this year, Carter Hill is down there, and Carter Hill is one of the best trash talkers I have ever heard. That man should have his own video. Moeller, back. Hislop, go to Moeller. Moeller taken down, we're gonna have a free kick. Moeller shot on, Bellevue knocks it wide, Hazen corner kick. 28-44, left to go here in the match. That's a pretty good attempt by Macy uh, yeah. to get it on goal that far away. And it, you know, even from that far away, yeah. it was low and outside. There's one thing Coach Harry has taught him. They've had a great success with it. Corner up. Bellevue knocked it down, grab. Quick reflexes by Carly Bellevue. Junior keeper for the Danville Indians. Joey to Kai. Kai over to Macy. Macy, nice give and go. Maddie right there, couldn't get it. Joey Hall, Lila Hall continue their battle over on the far side. Danville. Shot, thwarted, taken away by Lefty Jeffrey. Lily Castle clears back. Stanchu up, quick spin move. Free kick Danville. Joey and Lila trading some paint over there. Call goes against Joey on that one. We've seen this before. Drop in wide. Woo. And there was a Danville player in the vicinity waiting for that to drop down. Lefty Jeffrey going to take the goal kick. Knocked back in by Danville. Jeffrey once again trying it. Middle of the field. Nice cross. Lila moves in, taken out. Danville now on the offense. Bethany Conway gets that block in. Gabby Sanchu playing tough over there on the far side as well. We'll have a Hazen goal kick. 25-15 and counting here in the second half. Lady Cats clinging to that 2-1 lead still. I liked it better when it was 2-zip, Griff. 
A little bit more comfortable, yeah. Yeah. Conway trying to move up. Here's Moeller. Look at Kai. Kai. Coming up through. Kai. Gets by one, gets by another, goes down. Kai's down. She's getting back up. Here's Kai once again. Trying to get that foot on it. Just trying to will her way up through there. Shot. Uh, we'll, we'll call that a shot, but slow roller. Easy save for Bellevue. Short punt. Conway, looking to make a play. Jeffrey, nice play back up through, trapped down. Christensen knocks it out. Jasmine Esposito on the throw. Nice play, Conway. Got the header on it. Stanchu gets juked. Moeller. Maddie Bartlett. Maddie came a long ways. In comes. Is this Cassidy right in front of us? Is that a number? No. Number five? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Cassidy Cochran. And goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Maverick Murphy's back out there. <laughs> that was my song drop. Oh, rare miss by Jeffrey. Knocks it out. You don't see Natalie do that too often. No, but good recovery. That was my Top Gun song reference. <laughs> Kick. Knocked down. Once again, Hazen defense rises to the occasion. Cochran over there trying to go with Ashland Hill. Cochran. Back over Maverick. Matty Bartlett's almost, oh man. That if that would have gone another foot. Macy would have had a breakaway. But Danville defense playing well, too. We'll give both teams props. I mean, for a 2-1 score, you can almost say this, this has been a defensive battle. Yeah. Uh, both defenses have had to play, like, a lot. Like, Danville spent most of the first half playing defense and only gave up two goals despite having to you know, be up against the wall for most of the half. Long shot. Kimball down. Save. Little red machine. Punt. Backs up. Macy on the near side. Gets it by. She's got Cochran with her. Dunbar trying to catch up. Macy back to the middle of the field. Conway trying to keep it in as well. So he hits up. There's Moeller. Maverick on the far side.
Thought we were going to have a corner. Have a free kick? Might as well call it a corner. It's in the general vicinity. 20 minutes left to go here in the match. Hazen leading 2-1. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, in-house made desserts. Ball drops, cleared out, Lily Castle. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 16, on the local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Once again, all the Hazen soccer games sold out sponsorship this season. We want to thank all of our sponsors. You can sell it from Swanton to Singapore, courtesy of HCTV, because we are on the World Wide Web. Moeller back out midfield. Zoe with the boots. Moeller up ahead. Can Cochran catch it? She's fast. Miss, oh, wow. Number 24 actually misplayed it, but it played out in their favor with the bounce. The lucky bounce. Sometimes it's just as well to be lucky as good. And we're going to have a goalie change here. Emily Kimball trots the sideline. Here comes Allie Gabbery with 18.30 left to go in the game. Score 2-1. Coach Harry Bissett. Makes the change. Lily Castle up ahead. There's Macy the male girl. Wide open. John Go! Macy the male girl on a beautiful play over. She didn't go low. She went high, and that was the move to make, and got it by. That's a tough Ooh, like shot. Kylie to Bellevue, shoot. left footed. Left footed. Darn tough shot. 18 02 left to go in the match, and Hazen now back up to that two point cushion. 3 to 1. Macy the male girl with two goals now. Beautiful goal. Top corner. We have seen <laughs> some, some fabulous scoring by our Hazen Lady Cats today. And I'll tell you what, Griff, if Maverick Murphy gets a goal this game, <laughs> I will bust out in my best rendition of You've Lost That Love and Feeling. Okay. Plays it up ahead. Moeller, drop. here in the middle of the field. Here's Macy. Come up ahead. Maddie. Cochran. Nice move. Wow. Christensen. Over. Cochran. Down. Lily Castle. Gets it in. Zoe Hislop. Up through. Macy. Get the left foot on it again. Too wide. 16.30 left to go. Thought Macy was going to have the hat trick. Pretty close. Got the left Pretty foot close. on it again. Rolled wide. Went for the low and outside instead of yep. high and outside. There we go. Time. Yeah, but two outside this time. Oh, apparently it was deflected. Oh, okay. So they're going to have a hazing corner kick. Deflected or maybe the did the goalie touch it? I didn't see that, but maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought it rolled, you know, I went wide and, and rolled right across. Coming in, Bellevue. 
Man, she's, she's quick to go out there. She's not taking any chances on anything with those corners. Yeah, she seems like she kind of cheats forward instead yeah. of staying in front of the goal. Yeah. And uh, unless somebody's got boot enough to get it over in front of the goal, then that's a, that's a good way to defend those. I don't know if I've seen any other uh, really goalies on either side, uh, guys or girls, play corners quite that aggressively Yeah, this year that, that I've seen. Cochran in, shot on, goal! Cassidy Cochran with her second goal of the game. Makes the score 4-1 with 15-16. Four goals, two by Cassidy, two by Macy. Offensive explosion here for the Lady Cats. And the Danville defense now being a little porous. Griff. Yep, yep. We've seen some balls get behind them. We've got our players in there to capitalize. That was an, just a really, really good pass by, uh, by Macy as well. So Right in position. Defense plays back. Blue throw. 15 minutes left to go in the match. 15. <laughs> Lily Castle looking in. Macy Muller down. Cochran once again. Cochran back to Muller. Muller gets it over. Hislop. Muller over on the far side. There's Kai. Oh, looking for Kai to get it. Oh, Maverick in the mix as well on the far side. Danville clears out. Hislop back. Danville up the far side. Joey Hall knocks it down back. Lefty Jeffrey gets a foot in there as well. Danville. Up through Jeffrey. Nice play by Jeffrey to get it by Lila Hall. Fourteen minutes left to go in the match. Are they subbing? I was gonna say, do we actually have an illegal throw? But I think they were subbing. Yeah, I think they were. Yep. Cochran, big boot up. Was I looking for Kai, but Danville player cut in front of her. Jeffrey over, Christensen. Back out. Nice play. Nice slip up. Bethany Conway, nice boot, middle of the field. Here's Kai, playing in. Kai goes down. No call. Moeller in control, feeds it across. Hislop can't get there. Out of bounds. Blue throw. Maverick Murphy. Hislop comes up through, taken out, chipped away. Murphy trying to keep it in. Bethany Conway looking over for Christensen. Ball up through. Christensen, Zoe Hislop. Taken down by Moeller. Cross, nobody there. Moeller once again. Danville clears to the near side. Christensen tries to bring that one down. Back, Lily Castle gets it by Destiny Damasi. Damasi will go with. Here's Kai. Moeller.
Lila Hall, Joey Hall. Joey gets it away. And if I were down on the sidelines, I would be saying, nice play, Pumpkin, and my best, <laughs> Al Bundy. That was a very nice play. as a just clinical defensive defensive move against uh, Leela Hall, who looks really dangerous over there every time she gets the ball. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, she's a threat over there, you can see. And both uh, Joey and Natalie played her very well, and I think Gabby got in on a play over there as well. So. Oh. And everybody's ears are spared. Maverick onto the bench. Gabby Sanchu checks in. There will be no singing of you've lost that love and feeling today. And Batao in there as well now. Conway. Gabby, stand true with the throw. Gets it into Cochran. Cochran back, Moeller. Moeller skirts away. Cross. Patel can't quite catch up. Danville's going to catch up. Lila Hall. Jeffrey, Zoe, cross field, Moeller. She was looking for Stancher. Stancher couldn't quite catch up. Here's Moeller again. Nine twenty-five left to go here in the match. Hazen up four to one. I believe that was Mattel, just caught one right in the noggin. Joey up through, and we've got a stoppage of play. I don't really know what, I think, are they I checking? I think it's Batau. Batau. Seems like she might have a bloody nose. She, yeah. got, a, she got a really good cross, but yeah. <laughs> right in front of her face there. I think you're going to stop, referee. Error, erring on the side of caution. Take the towel over and check her out. Seems okay, but from up where we are, you can't really tell. It was a pretty hard lick. Ball probably kind of cold and fairly unforgiving right now. Gabby. Macy. Midfield. There's the defense. Scoop save, Bellevue. Punt back. Christensen looking to try and control that. Uh, you heard that too? Coach Maskell. Yeah, don't turn, don't turn. <laughs> Here's Kai. Spinner. There's Jeffrey. It's it over Christensen. Midfield. Christensen up. Blocked down. Cochran got a foot on that. Here's Zoe over to Cochran.
Ball through, Lefty Jeffrey. Wow, nice move. <laughs> this is as well as I've seen our Lady Cats play all season. And I'll tell you, it's, it's nice to be peaking like this going into the playoffs. There's Kai. Kai goes down again, big time collision. And then, judging from the. Yeah, I think they're calling a foul on Kai. On Kai. And I, yeah. yep, that's yeah, the, the call. The <laughs> varsity, yeah, the varsity boys in vehement disagreement with that call. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't I, know. I, sorry, I, boys. Like I say, from my <laughs> vantage point up here, I mean, they're so far away. I saw both players go down. If anything, I would have called it incidental. But I am not about to put on a yellow shirt and go down there either. Joey Hall clear out to the side. Back here in the middle, cleared out. I was going to say, if that ball goes over that fence, we'll never find it. <laughs> 5.50 left to go in the match as the sun setting down over the ridge here. Entire field in shadows. We're getting the last bit of sunlight up here on the roof. Yeah, it's getting cold. And, yeah. you know, I've always kind of wonder about the advantage gain from having the sun in your eyes or either in, in your opponent's eyes. Yeah. And, uh, well, that's gone now. The sun is coming down. And the Little Red Machine, I didn't notice the, the goalie re-switch. The Little Red Machine back in goal. I did not notice that one. It's not like we haven't been paying attention. Did you notice, Griff? I, no, I totally missed it, too. But uh, I don't think that Allie touched the ball the entire time she was in goal. No. However long that was. Our offense has been, like I said, in fuego all game here today. You never know. You get in the playoffs, make a little bit of a run. Unfortunately, it will have to be on the road, but you know what? That sometimes makes the victories even more sweeter, I think. Yeah, the, the Lady Cats won a road playoff game last year. So. Yes, over in Fairfax. A game that uh, not many people thought they were going to win. It can be done. It's a little colder when the sun goes down, too. Doesn't yeah. It? yeah, it doesn't take long, does yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Just realizing I no longer need my sunglasses. There, the field suddenly got brighter. But I'll tell you, Lady Cat's future looking much brighter now. Four goals. I think this is the most they have scored this entire season in one game. Scored three against Fairfax, scored three against Richford. So, yep. I said a lot of one goal games in here. In fact, the rest of them were either one goal games or they were shut out. So, uh, hope they can build on this going in. And here's an opportunity for Emily Kimball to make a save as the ball trickles wide on the shot. by a girl whose number I cannot see. I believe that is number five. Number five, that would be Destiny Damasi. Three minutes left to go in the match. Cats up three, score 4-1. Final home game for the Lady Cats today, this year. Well, I'll go regular season. I don't think they could host a playoff game at this point, but who knows, so we'll just go with the yeah, that, that would be a quite the situation if they did. Yeah. But. It would be a Herculean task. <laughs> now that I know how to say that, I like to say it. 
It would depend a lot on wins and losses in the playoffs. But, you know, we'll go with the last regular season home game. Uh, once again, senior night. Shot on wide. Our seniors, uh, one more time for everybody. Zoe Hislop, Kai Gilbert, Joey Hall, and Batau Doe, I believe is her last name. Two minutes left to go in the match. Danville, goal kick. Rolls out every weather is going to play. Ball goes through. There's Patel back on. Nice to see her back on. Gabri. You don't see Alley up on offense too often. Yeah, she made some good moves defense. there, too. Yeah. Four, it's a corner kick. Yes, this is your 125 left to go here. In the match. Macy Moeller looking to deliver. One more goal. Ball up high to the side. Bellevue, goal kick. And the Hazen Varsity boys, the Gentleman Cats, should be hosting a playoff game. Hopefully we'll get to cover it. We've never been able to cover a boys or girls playoff game up here because of weather in the past. That's right, yep. So if we do great, if we don't, Griff, it's been a pleasure once again to be on top of the Industrial Arts Building with you. Covering all the Lady Cat and Wild Cat soccer action. Good time. Yes, it has. It's been great. It's been a pretty pretty awesome season. Um, nice to see how the girls have come along. The boys, the, the, man, are they uh, going in. Yeah, both teams. I, I, I'm really impressed by the way that both teams have progressed mm -hmm. um, in their abilities throughout the year. Played well. Once again, a lot of young players here for the, for the Lady Cats. So. Our sponsors, as time ticks down, and that will end the game. And with a final, it is a 4-1 final as your Asian Union Lady Cats have beaten the Danville Indians to push their record to 3-10 and on the season. Two goals by Cassidy Cochran, two goals by Macy Moeller, and one goal by number 24 for the Indians is your final. Once again, our sponsors, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days in-house made desserts. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Once again, Griff, it has been an awesome season. Hopefully we'll get, you know, a boys' playoff game. The weather will be in our favor this year. Yep, hoping uh, to see that. If not, it's been a lot of fun. Once again, uh, congratulations. Go out to our Lady Cat seniors. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.